Hey, what's going on guys? How do you do? It's your boy Gray here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys my personal general settings, controller settings, and audio settings for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I'm actually recording this while the beta is out right now, so you, the gameplay or the footage that you're seeing in the background is from the beta weekend number two. But regardless, it's gonna carry on over, and these are definitely options and settings that I feel like you guys should follow if you wanna make the most out of your gaming experience. All right, before we get started here, if you guys are brand new around here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, drop a like. Uh, I would really appreciate the support, man. We upload here every single day. A link to everything, all my social media twitch and everything can be found in the description below all right with all that out of the way let's get into this here we go all right starting things off here with the controller settings and when everybody's always asking great what kind of controller do you use do you have a modded controller uh, i play with the regular playstation 4 default controller there's the back there's the front side up there in case you were thinking I was blocking something here. Like, I don't know why people think that I'm using, I am use a modded controller. I don't, man. Always want to know, how do I drop shot? How is my drop shot so effective? How do I do it so fast and so good and, and just accurate? Ladies and gentlemen, button layout preset should be on tactical. Tactical button layout basically allows you to drop shot. But basically, just when you shoot, you click and hold uh the r3 button and actually i do have a control freak a little control freak on my r3 you guys can see that right there it's a little higher than the left stick it's up here stick layout preset i just have it on default uh invert vertical look i have that as disabled for the horizontal stick sensitivity here guys i'm running a 6.6 six for my sensitivity uh horizontal and vertical but you know sensitivity is all personal preference so you guys feel run whatever you feel like if you were if you want to run a two two if you want to run a 10 10 whatever it is who cares man it's complete personal preference i play six six sometimes i even drop it down to a five five it really doesn't matter man it's all preference next up here guys the ads sensitivity multiplier for both marksman scopes and also a uh, rifleman scope so i actually lowered it down to a 0.80 uh normally it'll be at a one uh they'll both be at one i lowered it down to a 0.80 here guys for both i prefer a lower uh sensitivity when it comes to aiming down sight i just feel that it offers me as a player and how i play it offers me a lot more accuracy and that's just on my part um so that's how i play it you don't necessarily have to do the same but the reason why i have it low is for that added accuracy and that added comfortableness uh, out in the field when you're aiming down sight next up here guys controller vibration i have that as disabled i highly recommend disabling controller vibration i personally haven't used controller vibration since i think black ops 3 the reason i have it disabled is because i feel like i don't need anything distracting me from my shooting process if the controller vibrates that's kind of gonna it's gonna make your hand move a little bit I feel like I don't need that and you don't need that as well. So it's just something to have off. So, I mean, and once again, preference, but I'm just telling you how I play. I have it disabled for those specific reasons. All right, getting into the weapon section now here, uh, aim assist. Now this is a big topic here. And I will say as of this moment right now, the community doesn't really know too much about what actually works. What is a, pl a placebo effect? Uh, honestly, like it, it does give you a little bit of information. Uh, so the one that I'm currently using right now, guys, is precision. You guys can see right there, it says strong aim slowdown that only kicks in when aiming closer to the target. Best for accurate players. I personally feel like I do have a sense of good accuracy. Um, so precision is what I've been playing since the beta came out. I've tried every other one. I've tried standard. I tried precision. I tried focusing. For me, guys, I feel like precision works best. I would recommend precision, but I would also recommend trying each individual one out in different matches, seeing what, what specifically works for you. For me, it's precision. Our next here, guys, is another big topic that the community doesn't have too much information about, um, aim response curve type. I currently have it at standard, but I have been using linear as well. Now, dynamic, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I tried dynamic and it just, I didn't, I was not feeling it, man. It was not for me. I know, I think Korean Savage said he plays on dynamic. It just wasn't for me. I noticed a big difference in my, I don't know, in my aim response, I guess you can say, when I switched it to dynamic. Uh, standard and linear both feel really good. Uh, standard is standard, so we've always known that. Uh, I did try linear for a while, and it, it you know, it was fine. I, I, you know, I didn't really feel too much of a difference there. So standard and linear are two that I would definitely recommend. But, it, you know, at the end of the day, I would just leave it standard. And next up here, guys, is weapon mount activation. Now, this is for when, like, you're on a corner of a wall or maybe there's, like, a table or something that you can actually rest your weapon on top of 
or lean on the side of something like that um you can have you can honestly it's completely up to you guys i just left it as ads plus melee that basically means guys is you you basically use your melee button to activate the weapon mount whether it's a lean or whether it's mounting it on top of something you use the you use the melee button for me it's circle next up here guys weapon mount movement exit i have this enabled but i know a lot of people like it as disabled where you have to actually activate when you mount and when you dismount um for me i i just yeah i like the fact that i could just move backwards or move left move right and it'll it'll unmount because a lot of times i want to do that so it's something that i personally do um once again it's completely up to you guys but i have it enabled all right next up here guys aim down sight behavior definitely leave that on hold you're gonna want that on hold that's how we've always done it equipment behavior i have that as hold next up here guys the use and slash reload behavior this is basically how you reload and how you interact with your environment um it's always been tab to reload uh hold hold square uh to interact so it's up to you guys but it's just how i've always done it how i've always played call of duty it's just the tap to reload uh hold square to interact with the environment or pick something up off the floor it's hold last for this section here depleted ammo weapon switch now this is basically when a weapon runs out of ammo uh it'll automatically switch to your secondary weapon now it's completely up to you whether you want that enabled or disabled and once again it's just it's always been enabled for every other call of duty so it's completely up to you guys but i just left it enabled and man, you should too last two here for the controller settings at the moment we have uh movement slide behavior is hold um it's always been hold for if you want to slide you just hold the uh, slide button for me it's r3 you just click and hold r3 to slide uh and last but certainly not least here guys vehicle camera recentered is enabled so just leave that enabled it's it's definitely more helpful than disabled i think all right moving over here to general um we have the uh input device it's obviously controller uh for the screen normally it'll be at 50 percent i actually like to raise up the brightness a little bit here so i have it at 58 i actually used to play with this on like 70 or even like 65 uh because there's a lot of dark areas in this game where the, like an enemy an enemy player can just sit in one spot in that dark shadowy area and you would not be able to see him until it's too late For the safe area here, guys, I just have it set up to my general setup here. I play on a Samsung television currently. Um, that's how I, it's like a 21 inch. So I usually just always go corner to corner, like every, every corner. I just kind of like get it right up to the line there. Uh, but I know a lot of people like I, I remember Jay got in his video. He said that he likes it nice and tight uh, because it, it kind of provides a little something for your field of view. So it's all I guess that would be preference for you guys. Uh, but I kind of just leave it all the way up to the corners. All right. Next up here, man. Film grain you're gonna want to turn this the whole way down man just gonna all the way to zero um you guys can see the difference here let me show you you guys can see the difference here with uh having the film grain up and having it down the having no film grain at all just it, it provides a much cleaner look uh which comes in handy especially out in the field so film grain all the way down and last everything else just you know it's all preference there accessibility uh you know co content filter uh for content filter down here guys uh text to chat that's that's preference uh world motion blur and weapon motion blur you are going to want to disable motion blur man motion blur provides something in this game that it's it's like the film grain it's just something that it, it gives you a much cleaner look when it's disabled when it's enabled you get like a blurriness uh, a lot of times you miss certain things out in the field if you're moving fast uh world motion blur weapon blur absolutely disable that and here we have a new option uh dismemberment uh whether or not you want to see characters losing limbs and stuff it's completely up to you guys i have it enabled i mean if you're a content creator i guess you, that's a risk you take but I, hey listen man come on we've seen worse our last section here volume now i like a lot of noise i like being able to really detect where things are coming from uh, i really like to hear things out in the field so especially if you have really good headphones like the ones i have uh these were gifted to me these are the astro a40s um i have the audio mix set to headphones one obviously if you're not using headphones maybe you want to might want to take a look at tv but i always use headphones so yeah tv the, the, all those settings for audio for television would not apply to me uh, but you know something that you might want to take a look at and test for yourselves if you are gaming off a TV and you're using the sound from a TV But if you're running headphones, 
like I am, I highly recommend headphones one. Master volume all the way up. Music volume. I actually lowered the music volume. So I actually, you know, it was at 100. I lowered it all the way down to 15. I, I don't know, man. I just, I feel like I don't necessarily need the music too much in this game. Uh, dialogue 100. Effects 100. Juggernaut music for when, if you ever do get the Juggernaut kill streak. Uh, the juggernaut music will actually play and you can actually hear that I have that enabled that's pretty cool and last but certainly not least here guys hit marker sound effect you can go either none you can go classic or you could go the new modern warfare sound I had it on new modern warfare sound and I got to tell you guys I really I prefer the classic over the new sound so that's all that once again preference completely up to you guys but I like the classic if you go over into the account tab last thing that we'll talk about here guys if you go into the account tab uh, for the crossplay, you can disable crossplay. If you don't want to play, for example, if you're on PlayStation and you don't want to play against people on Xbox or PC, uh, you can disable that. That is completely up to you. Uh, Crossplay communication, you can disable that as well. Uh, and yeah, that's about it right there, you guys. That's about it right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's how I like to run my settings for controller general audio account, uh, all of my options and stuff. That, in my opinion, this is the best way to run it. Uh, and once again, a lot of it might be preference. Find what works for you, uh, but you can you can work off of stuff that works for other players like like myself. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed the content. I hope you enjoyed the information. Any comments, questions, concerns? Let me know in the comment section below. Once again, if you're brand new, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, drop a like, all that good stuff. I'm gonna back out of here till the next one. My name is Gray. Peace.